Hello, welcome to this session on sustainable value framework. So, if you remember at the different point of time during the course like when we are discussing why sustainability is important or why sustainability is imperative, what should be the strategy, what should be the corporate agenda so that the sustainability can be achieved or we can work on the sustainability issues. And at all this point of time the two things that was coming as the uh, coming as main focus is that when organization they are doing it, how should they do this so that it achieves the end objective of being sustainable. And second, when they are doing it, what kind of benefit they are getting or what are the possible costs they are going to incur. So, in that background, we will now discuss briefly the sustainable value framework given by Stuart Hart. So, this is uh, typically this framework links the challenge of global sustainability or to the creation of shareholder value of the firm. It means when we are when the organization when the corporate is addressing the challenge for the global sustainability also simultaneously how it can be a win-win situation by creating the shareholder value for the firms. So, here in this framework what is typically being addressed? Identifying the strategy and practices that contribute to more sustainable world while simultaneously driving the shareholder value. Recognize that company employ the multiple sustainability initiative simultaneously and help to assess the portfolio of activity get a good overview of a company sustainability strategy and finally, it helps to identify the business opportunity what we are trying to focus in last few uh, session. Now, this is what the sustainable value framework given by Hart and if you look at the uh, the time period is two one the activity or practices were what we are doing to manage today's business and few for building the tomorrow's opportunity. Other uh, dimension of this framework is that which one is internal and which one need to be done through the internal changes and which one need to be done through the external changes. So, nurturing whether it is through nurturing the internal capability or it is engaging the external constituency. So, here the core dimension of sustainability strategy with the different linkage to firm performance and value creation is given through the framework. Now, let us see what each of this quadrant showing in this matrix. So, one is pollution prevention and what is pollution prevention? As we know this minimize the waste and emission from the current facilities and operations. Second is product stewardship, this is engaging the stakeholder and managing the full life cycle of the today's product. Clean technology, developing and deploying the next generation clean technology and base of the pyramid is also we call the vision what we are looking for the future that is co-creating new business of to unmet need of the poor and undeserved. Now, this all these uh, uh, the dimensions whether it is pollution prevention, product stewardship, clean technology or base of the pyramid this has been mapped in this matrix either for part of the student's business or tomorrow's opportunity or this can be achieved through by changing the internal capability or nurturing the internal capability or engaging with the external constituency. And the end result over here is that we are going to get the sustainable value by using this framework. Now, this strategy and practice will help in reduce the cost and risk that is pollution prevention, enhance reputation and legitimacy that is through product stewardship, accelerate innovation and repositioning that is through the clean technology and crystallize the growth path and trajectory that is the base of the pyramid. This is crucial to the creation of shareholder value. The challenge for the firm is to decide which action and initiative to pursue and how best to manage them. Because now we know these are the strategy, these are the practices and also the end result what the organization they are going to get it by practicing it. But the challenge over here is that to decide 
which action the initiative to pursue and how best to manage them. Now Steve Kennedy he by taking this uh, sustainable value framework of Hart and Mills in 2003, he has added the drivers and also the corporate payoff when you get into these practices. So now here if you see the time period is 2, one is today or second one is the future that is tomorrow and where the changes or where it can be achieved that is through the internal and external. Let us start with strategy pollution prevention. So as we know this is minimize waste and emission from operation and what are the drivers for this strategy? The drivers for this strategy is pollution, consumption and waste. Now what will be the corporate payoff if they are addressing or if they are taking this pollution prevention, cost and risk reduction, this we have already discussed. Similarly also the product stewardship, it integrates the stakeholder views into the business process. The corporate payoff is reputation, legitimacy, the drivers is civil society, transparency and connectivity. This also we discuss when we have addressed that why the firm or why the organization they should address the sustainability challenge. Similarly now coming to the strategy of clean technology, it developed the sustainability, sustainable competency for the future. The corporate payoff is that innovation and repositioning, if you remember your eco branding strategy. So if you are doing the product differentiation through innovation, through repositioning, then you are developing a eco friendly product, environmental friendly product for the future. The drivers for this strategy is disruption, clean technology and the ecological footprint or the carbon footprint. And the last one is sustainability vision it create a shared roadmap for meeting the unmet need and the corporate payoff is growth trajectory and the drivers over here if you remember about this we have discussed in the very first class when we are talking about that why the when, when the changing landscape with respect to environment, with respect to economy, with respect to technology, with respect to innovation that leads to go for a, go for a uh, sustainability vision. Uh, so, where we create a shared roadmap for meeting the unmet need and the driver over here is population, poverty and inequality. So, Stuart had given this sustainability value framework for the organization that how the strategy, how the practices can be, can be followed either by making the internal changes, nurturing the internal capability or through the external engagement. For few of them the payoff would be today and for few of them the payoff would be tomorrow, but at the end of it, it will create sustainable value for the organization and possibly in the simple term whatever the sustainability initiative, whatever the sustainability actions the organization is going to take, it is going to give us give the uh, corporate or the organization at the return is in term of the sustainable value or in term of the profit or in, in both the tangible and the intangible benefit. Thank you.